I told you, on a roll. Zechariah 4, 1 through 2. The Lord is, he's confirming, okay? He keeps confirming, he's confirming, okay? So th there's no doubt in you. There's no place for any doubt in you, okay? Zechariah 4, 1 through 2, uh, 1 and 2. And the angel that talked with me came again and walked me as a man that is walked out of his sleep and said to me, what seest thou? And I said, I have looked and behold a candlestick all of gold with a bowl upon top of it and his seven lamps and his seven lamps thereon and seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top thereof. Zechariah 4, 4 through 10, right? Keep going. So I answered and spake to the angel and talked with that talked with me. No, sorry. So I answered and spake to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by power, no, not, sorry, <laughs> saying, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain, and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof, with shoutings, crying, grace, grace unto it. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, the hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. For who hath despised the day of small things? For they, for they shall rejoice and shall see the plummet on the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven. They are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole or the whole earth. Sorry, you got my reading. 2.22 on, on, on my timer. Your ladder will be greater than your former. Your ladder will be greater than your former. Than your former. Okay? The Lord says, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Okay? Every mountain that is standing in your way shall, be, shall become a plain. Flat. Okay? Every mountain shall become flat. That means every obstacle, everything that is opposing you and has been opposing you, it is going to be laid bare and flat. Okay? For who hath despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice and shall see the plummet on the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven. They are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro through the whole earth. Don't despise the day of small beginnings, okay? What the Holy Spirit is saying is whatever task that the Lord has you doing, okay? Whatever your mission is, so to speak, however small it might seem, do it to the best of your ability. Do it as if you were doing it unto the Lord, okay? And do that thing well, okay? The Lord gives you a little and you are faithful with a little, he will give you a lot more to be faithful over, okay? With, 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 what's, the, what's the saying? With great power comes great responsibility. There goes the saying. Okay, man, the task that God has you to do right now and do it well. And God will add more things into you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Romans 8, 28, for we all know that all things work together for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. All right. Later.